Cullen Smith has homered twice this week here at Hoover, and he swings at the first. All conference shorts up. Liam Spence from Australia handles it. A big orange ovation to start this game. It kind of feels like, kind of feels like a Tennessee home game. And he goes to one knee, couldn't find it. Heflin's got a strikeout, two down. Ball down. There's ball four, four pitch walk. Center fielder Christian Franklin. That one kicks off Pavoloni and over towards the Vaughn's dugout. And a wild pitch will give nice Welch ball. second base. Franklin into center. Little push Gilbert all the way back towards the fence. That one had some juice to it. Mm. Three straight. Well, when it comes in hard, it can leave fat. With a big game on the line, there's a little bit more juice in the tank, and he goes back to the changeup to dispatch Ferguson. In Briar, Tennessee, and he sends a line drive down the right side. That is a fair ball over to get his Gregory into the corner. Rucker will cruise into second base standing up. The serve 98 down the line for a two-out double. To the right side, through. Rucker around third. They'll wave him home. Gregory's throw is cut off. The Tennessee strikes first. The changeup got Max Ferguson all the way out in front. They're trying to go right back to the well here with the changeup against Drew Gilbert. This is a pretty good approach right here. After seeing mid-90s fastball right before, left-hander stays on the changeup, gets enough of it, shoots it out to right field. So an inning that started, punch out, punch out. Two out double by Rucker. 0-2. Oh, 99 at the knees. So you want to play in the SEC, huh? The defense definitely has changed. Pull to the right side. What a stop by Ferguson. Two down. That guy could play short at the next level. 27th round pick of the Indians coming out of high school to Spence. One, two, three frame worked by Will Heflin. 12 home runs on the season for the first baseman, and he comes up empty on 95. It is the fourth strikeout. It feels like that lower three quarter slot would be a little bit more comfortable. First walk of the game right here to Dirk Hill. Jackson Wiggins, 6'6, 220. Runner on the move, oh, and there's ball four. Back to back walks with two outs. Opportunity for Tennessee. Chopped to third. Wallace picks it up, was headed foul, and Tennessee has loaded the bases. And here's where we see Arkansas's defensive maneuvering coming back to her. Series against them a couple of weeks ago. And he sends a line drive to center. Franklin gets there. And what a huge out for the Razorbacks. And the fan base was able to come and see and celebrate Tennessee baseball against these worthy opponents. Shot three call on Gregory back to back K's for Heflin. So that's it, KP. This is the deal with Heflin specifically against the left handers. In a shallow right, Ferguson is there. And two down. And he goes that swing. We'll keep the commissioner around. We got more to talk about. We appreciate your time and thank you for being with us. To make what happens now work, no more than the Southeastern Conference. Uh, the contribution of three bowl games to this format. Uh, the Rose Bowl being a participation. There's a lot of moving parts here that don't own this broadcast with the SEC network. Presenting baseball on a regular basis is enormously important. Let's keep doing that. Out here on this big stage as they're running defenses and coaching infielders, yet they're not full-time employees. Yeah, you're going to have a five-tool player, but only three full-time coaches. I mean, it doesn't kind of intersect here, no. right? A major investment from Mr. Haslam, but it was really about, um, you guys are good luck. I'll stay on as long there as you want me to. But it, it, it really, you know, we paint something one day and then change a door. It just, oh, yeah. and it's, it's just interesting that they don't have a. Oh, oh what a grab by Battles from the backside. Got it! Six foot two, rangy and athletic, and putting it all on full display right here. They're going to review.
to see if Robert Moore stayed on the base, but the range on a bullet by Pavloni in the six hole. Lay out, young fella. And then the feed from his backside. The only question is, was Robert Moore able to stay on the base? What a play from Jalen Battles. And I think he did. I think he caught it with the foot on there. What do you guys think? Tournament and they beat LSU. They were that with their coach for two weeks due to COVID, and they were 500 team in that speed. Today they're they're in the top eight. Casey Opitz under the glove of Jake Rucker, Cullen Smith the second, and Arkansas has got something cooking here in the fifth. I'm going to disagree with you. Previous inning, he's got two on in front of him, and he sends a line drive to right field. Cullen Smith got a late jump to wave him home. Gilbert's throw comes into second. Arkansas has tied it. They're calling the Hogs and Hoover. How about that five-minute span right there for Jalen Battles? I mean, you you make a highlight reel play that they're going to show all over the country tonight and then come up right here two on nobody out shoot it the other way he was the hero with the bat yesterday now he gets Arkansas on the board right here and that was a rocket and you got to believe Will Heflin who's making his second start of this tournament is getting near the end of his rope we talked to Tony Vitello about it swinging away sends it down the right field line Fair ball. Arkansas will have the lead Opitz is home Back the third, safe at second. Spence thought he had it clean. We'll see if he was indeed as Gregory tried for an extra 90, but his hit drives home Opitz, and it's a 2-1 Razorback lead. Okay, we're going again. Huh? Okay, I like it. I like it by Dave Van Horn. Gregory did not look comfortable with the butt on and so you let him swing the bat he dumps it down the right field line Jordan back coming up showing you some premium <laughs> arm talent right there I think he's out yeah got him look, on the helmet look like he got him on the helmet I thought he was what's that front hand though I think he hits him on the helmet right before the hand gets there out yep. Yep. here's Russell and left Battles looking to tag, catch main, double clutch, and Battles is across to add to the Arkansas lead. They've seen him a lot recently. Up the middle, over the rubber, and Moore can't make the play. St. Croix River. Battles says, I got it, and he does. There's a big orange pumpkin, a big orange trailer. During that span, as you said, you know, Skip Burton won five national championships in a decade, so if that's your standard, you might be waiting a while. Yeah. But Both dead, both dead. Got him up in the place. Payoff for Mabry to the right side. Ferguson to Spence on the first. Four, six, three, double play. Answers than the the big league game. I don't, you know, I don't see a lot of guys trying to bunt against the shift or go out there the shift. I think the college game has figured it out that it's a oh. lot easier said than done. Foul territory. Smith fighting off the sun goes. <laughs> Ross Kim at the first base coach. It was totally cool just saying it too. He's got his own. My man's got his own team. Oh, well, this one's looked to deep. Battles and he do it again. It's a team. Seen it with the glove, an RBI backside knock, and now a big fly to straightaway left field. KP. Be a tough play. Lipsia stopped with the bag. Big backhands and is able to get Goodhart. But Jalen Battles 
runs into one, and Kevin Copps might be walking into one. Ooh. Lift a deep right field. Gregory all the way to the fence. Good! Peter K welcomes Copps to the game with a solo shot. Interesting. How about a hanging breaking ball? The balls have seen him now, so they yeah. know what to look for. They know what to expect. Again, this Tennessee team was the last team to score off cops. And this is a missile from the all-time leader in games played for the University of Tennessee. A rocket over the right field wall by Pete Durka. And then go top shelf Bass Brothers. And it's on, it goes straight down. Babylon looking, one down. No. Now he threw 28 pitches in throw a fastball. Pounded up the middle on a pitch that was up. Ferguson's aboard with two down. Two down. Singled in the fifth with two outs. And he swings at the first here. Racing in is Gregory. Back is Moore. And Robert Moore squeezes it. As he crosses the line, a hole. Save that nugget oh, for the oh, selection oh, show. Oh, you may just hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> Up the middle, Ferguson can't reach it. Headed to third is Wallace. The throw gets there and kicks off of his spikes. Charlie Welch with another hit. The fairy tale season continues for Welch. He's got a two for three day goal. Bates at first. Muscled to second. Ferguson will scoop. Goes to second. And that's all they'll get. And Robert Moore is able to bring home a run with an RBI fielder's choice. Front leg, whether it's turning a shoulder just a little bit. Rocket into right field. Back to the fence. Scraper for Smith. His third home run of the week in Arkansas. with a single. Russell sends a ground ball to short. Battles to Moore on the first. Beautiful. And motion from Robert Moore with a fist pump after he turned it. I'll let you. Line drive to right. Gregory. Yeah. We had to the ninth. Today, a two for three day at the plate. Couple driven in. That was a mighty swing and a 25 footer and he's safe. Lipsy is fighting the sun. Ferguson back and what a catch. Special on ESPN2. Swing miss. Thought they were. In the right field, Tennessee still has life on a pinch hit single from Kyle Booker. Well, tomorrow's one of my favorite days the entire year when you get to name all those names and take it from here, Tommy. Christian Franklin squeezes it, and the Hogs have finally climbed the hill. It's the first SEC tournament championship for Arkansas. Jalen Battles was the star today, but it's pretty cool for the SEC's pitcher of the year and most valuable player for from where I'm standing to be on the mound when they close it out. And congratulations to that man right there, Dave Van Horn. What a, what a season they have had.